Completing the Tree Gnome Village quest will unlock the ability to use the Spirit Tree Transport System, which is really useful, so let's get started. There aren't any level O requirements for this quest, but you do have to defeat a level 112 enemy. But if you have a set of rune armor you can wear, it shouldn't be too difficult to defeat him. The only required item is six regular logs. Of course, it's recommended to bring along food, armor, and a weapon for the fight. The quest begins, unsurprisingly, in Tree Gnome Village which is probably most easily accessible by using a Ring of Dueling to teleport to Castle Wars, or running south from Ardoin. The tricky thing is you first have to get through the maze in order to start the quest. Here's a close-up of the path through the maze. You begin in the northwestern corner. Feel free to pause on this screen until you make your way through the maze. When you reach the end of the maze, you'll find a metal grate with a squeeze-through option. Click on it to enter the village. Now run east to find King Bolren and talk to him. He says he must have made the maze too easy if you found your way in, but he says he's got more serious concerns at the moment. Ask if you can help, and he explains that his people have always been kept safe by three magic orbs. However, the Khazards from the north have been hunting the tree gnomes for sport. And when the gnomes decided to fight back and brought one of the orbs to the battlefield, the Khazard troops stole it. So the king needs us to recover the stolen orb, so agree to help him. He says to receive more detailed orders from the commander in the battlefield named Montai. Also, he gets a gnome named Elkoi to guide us out of the maze, so we get to skip the maze bit. Next, run just a little bit to the northeast to find Commander Montai. He'll be wearing a red hat. He'll explain that you've been sent by the king to get the orb, and Montai says that the orb is currently locked in the Khazard stronghold to the north. He says before we go after the orb, we have to strengthen the battlements. So he'll go get some wood, but we already have it, so immediately talk to him again. He'll take the wood, and he says he needs a moment to organize the troops. Just talk to him once again, and this time he says the next step is to breach their stronghold. The gnomes have a ballista strong enough to break the wall, but the aim isn't very accurate, so he needs the exact coordinates, which we need to get by finding three tracker gnomes he sent into the battlefield. Say so you'll try your best, and Montai thanks you for your bravery. Okay, tracker gnome one is found wandering around all the way to the northwest of the battlefield. Talk to him and you'll get the height coordinate. And don't worry, there's no number to actually remember, the game stores it for you. Tracker gnome two is inside this building here. Go inside and you can see he's locked in jail. You'll ask if he's okay and he says they beat and tortured him. So he's fine. He'll give you the second coordinate. The last tracker gnome is to the southwest of the battlefield. This guy's gone a little crazy from the battle, so he won't give you a straight answer. When you read his dialogue, keep an eye out for a certain line of text which varies for each person. If he says, less than my hands, he means one, more than my head, less than my fingers means two, more than we but less than our feet means three, and my legs and your legs means four. Remember the number he means because it's the last coordinate. Once you've figured out the coordinate you need, head south to the ballista, which looks like a giant crossbow. Click on it and it will ask you what the last coordinate is. Click on whatever number you got from the crazy gnome, and hopefully you'll get a message saying you've hit the stronghold. If you put in the wrong one, you can keep guessing until you get the right one. Now run east to talk to Montai. He says, great job, now go get the orb. Now head north to the large building. As you approach it, you'll see there's a big hole in the wall, and you can climb over the rubble. There'll be a small dialogue, and this guy says he'll never let you get the orb, but just run past him through the door and up the ladder. Go over to the corner and open and search the chest to find a stolen orb. This other guy starts attacking you, but you can just run back down the ladder. Now pop right out this door, and then return to the entrance of the maze. Now, whenever you need to get through the maze, you can just talk to Elkoi and he'll lead you through. Squeeze through the railing and go talk to the king. You'll give him the orb, but he's in bad shape because the Khazard troops attack and killed a bunch of his people and took the other two orbs with them. Say so you'll find the warlord and bring back the orbs, and the king is very grateful and takes the one orb we managed to recover. Once again, Elkoi leads you out of the maze. The warlord we have to fight is found all the way over here, south of the underground path. 
run north and then follow the southern wall of Ardoin west to find him. Find the level 112 warlord, then attack him. He's got 170 hit points, so the battle might take a while, but if you have good food and decent gear, it's not a difficult battle. Once you defeat him, you'll receive the stolen orbs. Return to the king in the village. Remember, you can talk to Elkoi to lead you through the maze. Talk to King Bolrin, and he'll be very grateful that you've managed to bring back the orbs. The gnomes begin some sort of ceremony to restore the orbs to power and give them to the spirit tree to keep them safe. The king gives you a special gnome amulet that offers good melee protection, and says you are now a friend of the gnome people, and you will complete the quest. You can now click on the spirit tree to travel between tree locations, although you can't travel from the gnome stronghold tree until completing the grand tree quest. Hey there, thanks for watching. I hope the guide helped you out. If it did, maybe hit the like button. And if you're interested in seeing any more cool guides in the future, maybe hit that subscribe button.